All right. So pretty powerful stuff there, right? Here's four things that I really want you to think about and take away from, from that lesson. While, while there were 10 really, really good lessons there. Number one, start the day with something you know you will succeed at and finish. It's not just about making your bed. It's about starting your day with success so that at the end of the day, if everything you intended to do goes to crap, you can look back and say, I did succeed. It may not have been the biggest accomplishment that I could have ever had in my life, but I started something, I finished it, and I can say that I succeeded at that. Number six was take risks. This is that whole step out of your comfort zone thing, because if you want to accomplish more in your life, you're going to have to get uncomfortable. Take risks when you know that there is something that you're not used to, but if you do it, you have, uh, on the other side of you doing that is opportunity. On the other side of you doing that is, is, is the thing that you desire to have the most. And that's just the, that's just the barrier for entry. That's the barrier to start the journey. That's the cost. That's the toll road. That's paying the fee in order to get on the toll road where there is less traffic than there is on Interstate 95 or for my friends in Texas, Interstate 35. It's being willing to do the thing that sets you apart from everyone else. Zig Ziglar once said, there is no traffic on the extra mile. Why? Because most people aren't willing to go there. So make sure you're taking risks. Number eight, step up when times are toughest. Do it even when you think everything is against you. Take a breath. Remain calm. Take action. Remember this, leaders are remembered for being willing to take action in the midst of adversity. Leaders are remembered for being willing to take action in the midst of adversity. We've got a holiday coming up next Monday, Martin Luther King Day. During the civil rights era in the United States of America, where everyone was fighting against everything, he was willing to stand up take a risk, and share what he believed. And if we go back and we remember what uh, uh, Simon Sinek shared with us, he didn't say, his, his speech wasn't, I have a plan. It was, I have a dream. And by the way, that wasn't the speech that he originally was going to give. You see, if you go back and you watch the speech getting re uh, as it was getting started, there was a lady off to the side of, of Dr. King. And she said, Dr. King, tell them about your dream. Dr. King, tell them about your dream. And that caused him to change the direction of his speech. And it became one of the most profound and iconic speeches in American, if not world history, the I Have a Dream speech. Finally, number 10, never give up. Never give up. Don't ever ring the bell. You can know that that bell is there. You can know that it's off in the distance, but every single time you feel like you're gonna get close to it, imagine that you're one of those dogs in the middle of uh, your backyard and you've put one of those invisible shock collars around your, uh, your backyard perimeter so that your dogs don't go running into the lake or something like that. Ask me about the lake later. I've got a story for you about my dog running into it. Um, but imagine for just a second, as soon as you turn and you start going toward that bell, you get zapped and something pulls you back. What is that zap that you need to have? It's the motivation. It's the why. It's the reason you get up every single morning and do this. Have that close to you. Remind yourself constantly the reason you're willing to do things differently that you've never done before so that you can have things greater than you've ever had before. Maybe it's so that you can have things greater than you've ever had before for someone else. Maybe it's a legacy that you want to be able to live every single day so that you guarantee that you leave it for your kids, your grandkids, your great-grandkids, whoever it is. 
know that the bell is there, but don't ever be willing to touch it. As a matter of fact, be going the opposite direction of that bell at all times so that it gets further and further in the distance from you. You can see it in the rearview mirror, but the responsibility for you is to look through the windshield, not through the rearview mirror. So with that all being said, what did y'all take away today? What stands out to you? Let's go so, have a circus. What's that? That was my that was my takeaway is let's go have a circus. I want to do something that's gonna make me stronger every single day, right? Um yeah, and, yeah. and doing that multiple times is going to, you know, make me better than my competition, really. So so what could that be for you, Phil? Uh lead generate. <laughs> okay. right? In ways that, you know, I've never I haven't done them before. Um, kind of sharpen sharpen the iron and think outside the box that, or the as you like to call it the comfort zone that we're that we're in right and be a little bit more uncomfortable every every single day in doing something that I have never tried before or do, you know or yeah. not very good at. Great. So Phil, in the next twenty four hours, what's thing? That, what's one thing that you can do differently that you haven't tried before toward the lead generation side of things? Your new circus. Yeah, um, that's a great question, and I, I got to put some thought into that, right? Okay. Um, but it's probably going to be, um, you know, I haven't been the best at making as many um, sphere calls as possible. Mm -hmm. right? um, so that's something that I, I need to, you know, I'm, I need to hold myself more accountable on this year um, okay. because with the market that we're in now, it's more important to be, you know, strategic versus, um, you know, it used to be <laughs> long gone are the days where we get a listing and, it, and it's and it's gone on the next weekend, right? So yeah. um, we gotta we gotta be a little bit more strategic on how we're getting business and generating leads. So, can I encourage you to add one other word there? Relational, sure. sure. Strategic with your relationships. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Right. Good. Yeah. Anyone else? For me, um, Scott, thank you uh, for that video. I thought it was amazing, um, and. I can't get in an unmade bed. <laughs> so that was, uh, I, I found that pretty, pretty. Well, funny. you're already off to a good start then. <laughs> exactly. Way to, go, way to go, Michelle. Exactly. But one of the things um, that I talked about doing uh, this year is literally scheduling time at KW to, to be able to focus and literally not work from home because of distractions. And yeah, that's yeah. one of the tasks that um, I need to add in on a weekly basis and stick to it. Yeah, so Michelle, focus. you saying that uh, when when we were in the thick of COVID and uh, I was still in Texas at that point in time, and we had all decided that we were going to close our offices to uh, people coming in and, and have everyone work from home. I remember about two weeks into that, I looked at my wife and I looked at my kids who were also home uh, and I said, I love you guys to death, but I cannot work from home with you um, because I was so distracted all the time. Um, and for me, that was, look, uh, while everyone else is going to be working from home uh, because that's the case and that office is empty, I'm going to go work for the office uh, from the mm -hmm. office because I need that space to be productive. So right. thanks for that, Michelle. All right. One more. Yeah. Anyone? All right, well, we're going to wrap it up then. I appreciate every single one of you joining us today. Uh, tomorrow, we will talk about how to gather people around you, how to gather great people around you, because who you surround yourself truly does matter. And those people who you surround yourself with are wealth determiners, whether you know it or not. So um, I appreciate you all for being here today. And remember, Every single day, I'm going to remind you of the exact same thing. Everything you want in your life is right outside of your comfort zone. Be willing to choose today to be a little bit more uncomfortable than you were yesterday so you can get closer to what it is you want to accomplish. I appreciate you all. Have an amazing day, and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you. You too.